Good morning, everyone. It's great to on live from the market, and I'm going to do a prawn, avo, and citrus stack with you today. So there's a whole bunch of this out now. Obviously, everyone can feel it's winter. I think everyone can rest assured that we are deep into winter. And obviously with winter, you get a whole bunch of um, really fantastic fruits like oranges, grapefruit. We've got some limes we're going to play around with today. So today I'm going to show you how to make a stack, but we're going to segment some um, oranges and grapefruit. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I'm going to show you how to clean some prawns. And we're going to build that into a really nice prawn, avo, and citrus stack. So to start off with, really. Okay, so I'm going to start off just by showing you how to segment grapefruit and oranges, which we're going to be using in our dish. So the first thing you do is you take the top and the bottom off. So we're just going to cut that off quickly. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of all the white around the, the grapefruit. So make sure that you cut that off properly. And then we're going to get into that really nice juicy segments of the grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit obviously is rich in vitamin C and that's exactly what we need at this time of the year. Obviously with the cold we do tend to get sick a little bit more often in winter than we do in summer, um, which is why all this beautiful citrus is coming out now. So just make sure you get all the white bits off. Now the white bits, this pith is actually quite bitter, so you don't want any of that. We're just going to slice that off quickly. And then we're going to show you how to segment it very easily. So you do need a sharp knife for this. Let's put that aside. So what you're going to do is you're going to see each of these segments has a like a white line and that's also a little bit of the the pith that's in there so we're going to take it on one side of the of that white line and just cut right into it just like that and that's literally a segment then the next one you're going to do like this just on the other side and keep going until you've literally done the whole grapefruit so i'm going to just do this whole grapefruit for you and then you're going to see um i'm going to use some of the juice as well so when you've finished with this, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let me just get this over here. There's a lot of juice coming out here, and what we want to do is save those juices because we're going to use that in the recipe. Um, and obviously, you can also use that juice for things like perfectly fresh juice for waking up in the morning or putting into a smoothie or anything like that. Okay. Right, so we're almost done with this. So you can see these beautiful, nice, clean segments that are coming out there. Okay. There you go. Uh, some of these ones you can see here, this one is not really worthwhile keeping, so I'm just going to leave that and miss that one out. And then cut this one in. And then just getting to the last one. There we go. Alright, so that's pretty much a grapefruit segment and what we're going to do with this is I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to squeeze all of this beautiful juice out here. Um, and there's a lot of juice left off in this section here, so you can see all of that coming through there. Okay. And then um, we're going to carry on with our orange. Let me just squeeze that bit out as well. Okay, so that's the orange, the grapefruit. Next one is the orange. Exactly the same process. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm not going to go through the whole orange because um, I've got some prepared already, but exactly the same process, no different. Um, and obviously you're getting these beautiful colors coming through that we're going to put into our dish. So what we're doing today is this dish is actually a starter. Um, so it's, a, it's quite a quick and easy starter. Um, and it has these beautiful citrusy and um, sort of, how can I say, um, exotic flavors coming through. So we're going to add some coconut, we're going to add a little bit of, of lime juice and that into it as well. Okay. So exactly the same thing on each side of that little segment. I'm going to take that and cut in exactly the same way. All right. If you end up with this, please just cut that off so your segment looks nice and clean just like that. All right. So that's Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my prawns. And there's a couple of ways of cleaning prawn. The first one is um, actually keeping the prawn intact 
Well, what you do, the first, first thing you do is you actually just take the head off the prawn. Let me just do that quickly. Um, and what I do is I actually pull the, that little um, membrane out. But a lot of people take the prawn and they cut it down there and actually pull that membrane out from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something different. I'm actually going to peel this prawn first. And you peel it just by pulling the legs off that way. And you pull it around. And you get these beautiful boxes of... Um, Vaname prawns at Food Lovers Market at the moment. So go and get some of those and try this recipe out. It's actually fantastic. So that's what my prawn looks like. So I haven't destroyed this back section. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my knife and insert it right in the back of this little uh, rib there and push it all the way to that hard section. So that's the hardest section of the, the skeleton. Once I've done that, I can find my vein if it is in there. If you can't find it, you can actually just push any gunk out. And that one looks like it's clean. Okay, so I can still keep my prawn intact. Just try that again, just show you again. So you take the head off. You can see there's a vein little sticking out there. Just peel the legs off very quickly. And each of these uh, starters just has two or three prawns. It's entirely up to you how many prawns you put in. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Push it right to the back there, make sure that it's actually severed there. And then I can grab this at this point here, and then the whole vein just comes out like that. There we go. All right. So that's a nice, easy way, and you can see the whole prawn is nice and intact. So it doesn't have these fluffy bits falling all over it. Okay. The next step is what we're going to do is um, we're actually going to blanch these prawns. So I've got this water going, and you can see here it's not. Just take a look here. There's not a lot in here, so I'm literally just putting about a centimeter of water in there and we just blanch these quickly literally for about um, a minute on either side um, and that's going to cook it through okay so let's leave that for now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a sauce which is a marinade for my prawn so and what I've got, in fact, I'm just going to put it in here. So I've got a bit of fish sauce. I've got some sugar. I'm just going to combine those two and then mix that up a little bit. And what you want to do is just try and get this to dissolve a little bit. So you've got this sort of really saltiness of the fish sugar coming through. I'm going to take a couple of fresh chilies. Also be, be aware, people, um, I to just test your chilies beforehand because you don't want a chili that's too hot that you can't eat it. A little bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger. And that's it. That's just the marinade sauce that we're actually going to pour over the prawns as soon as they come out. Okay. So what we do here is just turn this over quickly. I've got these prawns and you can see they're starting to go white on that side, so I'm just going to turn them over quickly. And the nice thing about doing it this way is when I find that when you steam prawns or when you blanch them like this, they actually hold together much better. So instead of cooking them in boiling water. Right. Then we're going to make up the rest of the pieces of the, our stack, which is the avocado. So I'm just going to take this section off the avocado here. And we're just going to clean that quickly. So let's just peel that. This one's got a little, couple of little brown spots, but nothing to worry about. And I'm just going to slice these into rings. So I'm just going to take it and slice it into a few rings like that. And this is going to make up part of our, our little stack. Okay, I'm just going to take a dark bit off. Okay, so you can cut your ava into these sort of sections just like that. Try and make them flat as well, because what's going to happen is you're going to be building your prawns on top of this um, avocado. Right. What I'm also going to do, remember we had some leftover um, uh, juice. I'm going to take some of that grapefruit juice, and I'm actually just going to add it into this marinade sauce. That's going to give it that nice zesty citrus flavor. Let's mix that up a little bit. Okay, so that's our marinade sauce. So our prawns are ready to come out, so literally you don't need to cook prawns for too long. They can actually stay in here for probably about a minute and a half and they cook through. So you can see when they go white like that, then they completely cook through. 
So the best thing to do straight after you bring them out of the dish is to actually put them into an ice bath. So this dish is a cold dish, so it doesn't really matter if they um, are cold out of here. And that's going to stop the cooking process. So as soon as that cooking process is stopped, then we can start working with these. Right. Okay, so just that little bit is actually going to stop the prawns cooking. So I'm going to take these out. And then I'm going to put the marinade over it. And these guys can just lie in here for the marinade until we finished with everything else. So I'm just going to pour that over. And that's going to flavor the prawns a little bit. There we go. Okay. So that's the next step. Right, so let's start putting this thing together. First off, I'm going to show you how to make... Um, in fact, let's, yeah, let's start stacking it. So I'm going to get a beautiful plate like this, and then we're going to start stacking the avo and citrus segments. So I'm going to start off, I'll put this first avocado down here. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these citrus segments and just stick it in the middle. And go for it. So hopefully that stands up there. That looks like it's going to slide off. So I'm going to swap this around a little bit. Put that that way. Okay, put my orange on there. My grape stores. Uh, coconut, uh, these coconut flakes. I prefer these to the desiccated coconut. They taste a little bit better. I've got some canola oil and white condiment. Now it's important that you use the white condiment vinegar, okay, which is the same as a white balsamic vinegar. Okay, so those two are going to go in. If you don't want to go through this whole step, you can always get one of these zesty, um, tangy seasoning, or you can also get, um, I think there's a Robertson's Thai seasoning, which is, does pretty much the same thing. So anything that's got a sort of a zesty, tangy flavor to it is going to add to your your um, sauce. So I'm going to start with the zest from the lime. So what you do is you just cut this really light bit off. You don't want any of the white on there. Okay. And I'm going to just chop this up super fine. So all of these ingredients are fresh ingredients. You can use dry ingredients as well, but the, I find the fresh ingredients just give it so much more punch. And you're going to chop this up super fine, just like that. You can also take all of these ingredients and put them into one of those little blitzing things. That will also work. Okay, so I'm going to take this and we're going to put it into this dish here. So I've got some, that's my lime zest. I'm going to take my chili and put my chili into that. Then I'm going to take the coconut and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the coconut. So we're going to chop it up super fine. Just like that. And this coconut gives it this really sort of exotic flavor, which is fantastic. So the finer it goes, the better. All right, so there we go. We add that into there. Then I'm going to take some thyme. So I've just got some fresh thyme into there. And then I'm going to take um, some lemongrass. And we do exactly the same thing with lemongrass. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it super fine. And you don't need a lot of lemongrass. And the thing with lemongrass is it has to be quite fine because it's quite a coarse um, material. So you don't want it really st sticking in your throat, so um, just make sure that this is very, very fine. Okay, there we go. So you can see the fineness of that. It's also fantastic. Same thing with the ginger. So I'm just gonna take a few slices of ginger. Just like that. I'm just gonna clean the outside edge. And then I'm just going to chop a few slices of that, and we're going to do the same thing. So let's just take that off. So the finer you go, the better. So I'm cutting really fine slivers here. And once I've done that, then we're just going to chop that up again. So as I said, if you don't want to go through this whole process of chopping, or if you're not that comfortable with chopping, you can actually put it into a, like a, a spice blender or even a coffee grinder and just blend all of these up together and to make a really nice sort of pasty thing. So that goes in there as well. Then we're going to take about three tablespoons of uh, canola oil. Okay. And a little bit of the white balsamic. So about two tablespoons of white balsamic. And then I'm just going to add 
a little bit of this lime juice in there. Okay, here we go. And this um, seasoning you can actually make beforehand. So I've made some before, and this is what it looks like. So that's, and you can actually keep this in the fridge. This will last in the fridge for probably um, a week or two. Okay. So when I've got that, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my um, sauce and then we're literally just going to sprinkle it all over our stack, just like that. Oh, there goes our stack. I'm going to just push that up again. Let's get that to stand up. And obviously with these, standing these things up on this sort of uh, stack like this does make it a little bit difficult. There we go. Yeah. And then you can just sprinkle your sauce around there. And at the end of the day, that is your starter. Look how beautiful that looks. Obviously, you can put two or three prawns in here. You can make a, a bigger base. Um, but it's entirely up to you how to present it. But that is our dish for the day. Nice and fresh, beautiful citrus avo components. Um, and obviously, perfect for winter. Um, it's got some really uh, strong... Vitamin C components, some really nice fresh components, and obviously the flavors in that are fantastic. So, guys, if you want to take a look at more of our um, recipes, please go onto our Instagram, Stir Crazy Instagram, and all our recipes are posted on there, all of our live demos. Um, yeah, otherwise, take a look at Food Lovers Market. The recipe is on the website, um, and all the steps that we've illustrated here today are actually on the recipe. So, thanks very much for watching. watching. And uh, we will see you again soon. Have a great day.